Hey guys, Alec Pierce Scuba Tech Tips once again. Here I am in the uh, in the very very efficient, neat, clean Aqua Sub Scuba Diving Center. Uh, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, we're going to move around to different dive stores maybe. And for the moment, we're going to run some series here from Aqua Sub. Uh, excellent dive center, nice nice people, and uh, and you get a chance to visit Aqua Sub, do so. Uh, but the, the the topic, as you know, the topic today is is about changing your wireless transmitter battery. Now, if you have a, a computer, a dive computer, with a wireless transmitter, you know what I'm talking about, okay? If you don't, you don't. There's two groups. Or there's, so actually, there's a third group, and that's a group that is thinking about buying one, okay? This is for you as well, okay? Changing the battery in your wireless transmitter, because the transmitter, let me get one out here so you know what I'm talking about. The transmitter, which goes onto your regulator, onto a high-pressure port of the regulator, it essentially takes the place of the SPG. It goes into the SPG, a submersible pressure gauge, high-pressure port. This is the transmitter. That's a neat device. It really is quite neat. It screws in uh, properly, snugly, O-ring and so on, into the high-pressure port on your regulator. Now, one of the biggest benefits of this uh, system is that you don't have that SPG hose, that submersible pressure gauge hose. Uh, that's not the biggest benefit, quite frankly. That hose is not normally a problem. It hangs down your left hand side. It's nice and tight to your body, and it gives you, a, 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 you know, your reading for your tank pressure. But if you are using a wrist computer, right? This is what I'm using as well. You want not this one, but one like this, a wrist computer, which is nice because you can wear it through your whole dive holiday. Yes, it's a watch, a very good quality watch. It has dual times. You can have the time at home and the time wherever you are, whether you're white, uh, white shark diving in South Africa or in California. You can have the dual times on there. It gives you all kinds of information. It's also your dive computer. So you can put this on before your dive hall and just leave it on. Well, how do you get air pressure then? Well, it's very simple. This transmitter goes into your regulator. And when the pressure turns on, it's not on all the, it's battery operated, but it doesn't run all the time. Only when the pressure turns on, you turn on the tank, then this starts transmitting the air pressure to your dive computer on your wrist. So you look at it and it shows you the date, the time, how deep you were, all that kind of stuff, and it shows that pressure. And it shows more than that. If you looked at all at wireless transmitters or air integrated dive computers, you know that the real benefit is not that it shows you your air pressure. I mean, an SPG does that right. The real benefit is that it actually shows your air consumption. That's right. So if you look at an SPG and it shows that you have 1,500 PSI, that's important to know. You have some air left, right? And how long will that last? Well, that's going to depend on a lot of things. How deep you are, how hard you're working, how heavy you're breathing, how cold it is. A lot of things will affect that. And if you look at your pressure gauge, SPG, and it says 1500, you really don't have any accurate idea how long that air is going to last. Too many factors involved. But if you have a wireless transmitter and an air integrated computer system like this, you look at your dive watch, at your wrist, wrist unit, the actual computer itself, and it says you have 1500 PSI. But and more important than that, Right above it, it will say how long that air is going to last. That's right. It, it's measuring. You can't do that with an SPG. But with a dive computer, it actually is measuring your air consumption. Exactly. It knows as the pressure drops, 1,500, 1,499, 14, and so on. As the pressure drops, and it measures the time and pressure drop, it can say, okay, at the present rate, this air, 1,500 PSI, is going to last in for 20 minutes. It'll say 20 minutes. That's fantastic. So if you go deeper, suppose you go down now, you go down 30 or 40 feet deeper, you use more air. So it's going to change. It's going to say 12 minutes. Whoa, I better go up. So you go up. Now, suppose you go up to 20 feet, 20 feet, 1,500 PSI, 30 minutes. So it actually tells you how long the air supply will last. Now, that's important information. Knowing you have air, knowing how much air you have is really important. But what's even more important? Knowing how long that air will last. And that's what a wireless transmitter and a air, an, an air integrated computer does for you. The topic today, however, is not why these are great, but how do you change the batteries? Well, let me tell you how you change the batteries. It's really very simple. Take it to your local dive store. It's that easy. Now, you might say, oh, yeah, yeah, I like you. Yeah, we know you. You owned a lot of dive stores and, and you were in the diving business for a long time. And so, of course, you would say that. Well, yes, you're right. Of course, I would say that. But there's a more important reason. My job here, I'm not affiliated with any particular dive store. I don't have an agenda. 
My only job here is to help you divers, to help you save aggravation, uh, have fun diving safely, and give you some tips, some ideas that I've gathered over 60 years of scuba diving so that you will enjoy diving more. That's my whole goal. That's all there is to it. So what's that got to do with taking your, bat your computer into the dive store? Well, look, this is a beautiful, a beautiful, very expensive, I'm not sure what model this is, a D9, D, D6 or D9 a Cinto computer, beautiful computer. Two thousand dollars. That's Canadian, so that's about about one hundred and sixty-nine bucks U.S. No, two thousand dollars Canadian, so still fifteen hundred dollars, no matter where you go to get it. And then usually the transmitter is a separate item. It's often separate. The transmitter can be four or five hundred dollars on its own. But here's a computer. We want to call it two thousand dollars worth of computer. And the man who had this computer decided he could change it himself because the back on screws is pretty obvious. You unscrew the back, you pop the cover off, you buy the little battery. At any any dime store, you can, jewelry store, Walmart, and you take it all out, and nice and clean in there, put the battery in, put it back together. And he's ah, that was easy. Computer fires up. Okay, let's go diving. Take a close look here, Kevin. Can you see that? Yeah. He's not going to do too much diving with this computer. If you can see in there clearly, you can see that this computer flooded. Why did it flood? Well, it flooded because the diver. And a nice guy, good guy, mechanically inclined, and had all the proper tools and knew what he was doing, wasn't able to change it properly. And what do I mean by changing it properly? Well, first of all, you have to know what you're doing. A typical dive store, any active dive store will do two or three or four of these every week, hundreds in a year. So they know what they're doing. They do a lot of them. They know the problems that can occur. They have the proper tools to take it apart, to take the O-ring out without scratching it, and all that. They have all of that. And then very important, and very few divers, very few, I don't know any divers at all that are able to do this, the dive store will almost invariably have a pressure chamber. So they can actually take your dive computer, put it into the pressure chamber, and take it down to 20, 30, 40, 50, or 100 feet, and check to be sure that your computer actually has been sealed properly. You see, without running the risk of hurting it. If there's a problem, they quickly take it out, Take it apart again, check and everything else. But, so they test it before they give it back to you. You can't do that. Your test is the first dive you make afterwards. And that test could be very expensive. No warranty. $2,000 computer. Yeah. So there's one reason why I suggest that you ought to take your computer into the dive store. Really, quite frankly, divers, the cost is minimal. Now, I know that everybody's on a budget. I'm on a budget. Everybody wants to save money. Nobody wants to waste money. But certain things are worth having a professional do. The cost of actually changing the batteries in the computer and the transmitter is very, very little. The, the, the change, the labor is very little. You pick up the kit yourself or the dive store itself will supply the kit. There are different types of transmitters. Here's one, and it requires uh, that, that the screws be taken out of the bottom properly. You notice that this particular screw right there, can you see that one, Kevin, with the red on it? That's called a seal. <laughs> That's right. The factory puts a little wax seal on that, so they didn't know it's been opened. That's right, you didn't know that, did you? Yeah, that's, as soon as you turn that screw, they know it's been opened. So if, if this floods, you send it back to them, it flooded on me, I want a new one, and they go, uh-oh, this has been opened, you must have opened it. Well, yeah, I wanted to change the battery, no warranty. It's that simple. Here's another type of computer uh, uh, from another company, a little fancier, looks very similar, two screws on it, this one has a flashing light. Now, this is pretty neat. You have to read about that. Mari's computers. Read about their wireless transmitters. They're pretty neat what they will do. And you'll notice again on here. Look there, Kevin. Can you see it? Okay. See that? Blue seal. If, they, if this comes back to the factory and that seal has been broken, they know it's been opened. Yeah, yeah. And they know that it was probably not a professional that did it. No warranty. Sorry, guys. So, what's involved? Very simply, you send, take your uh, transmitter in or your transmitter and computer. Probably smart to take them both in at the same time. Get the batteries changed in them both. Now, you don't have to do this very often. Depends on how much you use it, of course. But typical divers, if you do it every three to five years, you're probably okay. Very, very active divers. Very active divers, which means 40 to 50 dives a year. Maybe more often. But for a typical diver, less than 15 or 12 to 15 dives a year, Every three to four years. That's not a really big deal. Take them both in because then he can change both batteries and then he can pair. That means match. Match them up afterwards. Start them both up and make sure they're actually working together afterwards, which again is a little bit involved. And, and the dive store owner will have a proper kit. You see, here's the proper kit. There's the battery. All right. And the O ring. 
You know, some divers I know, they, oh, we can clean that O-ring and put it back. You can do that, yeah, 17 cents worth or whatever it is, and you can clean it and put it back in. But it's been under pressure for two, three, four, five years. And it has salt and sun and everything else. Why would you do that? Dash owners always your place. And these are the proper factory items as well. Now, here's something else a lot of divers don't know. Uh -huh. yeah. This type of transmitter, once the screws have been removed, you can't reuse the cap. You're not supposed to reuse the cap. Of course you can. You put it back in, well, no problem. It looks great. It looks great. But these are metal screws going into a plastic cap. It's never as good second time around. So when you buy a proper kit, when the dealer buys a proper kit, you get a new cap. That's right. Little things that you maybe didn't realize. So now you understand a little bit more about changing batteries. And I have myself suggested to divers that they can change batteries. There are some computers that are very, very simple. A coin, one quarter turn, new battery in, new O-ring, clean it, put it back in. Not a really big deal. And those are nice little computers, $150, $200. And, uh, and if you can do that yourself if you want to. And if it floods, it's not a real big loss. $2,000 to $2,500. Take it to your dealer, really. Anyway, there's some interesting thoughts. Maybe you have some comments on that. Maybe you've done it yourself and you want to make a comment back to me. But there's my advice on it anyway. Certainly on these very sophisticated and expensive air-integrated wireless transmitter type computers. Take it to the pros. They know what they're doing. Anyway, something in there for you. I hope so. Ali Pierce, scuba tech tips from the Aqua, Aqua Sub Scuba Diving Center. <laughs> All right, take care. Talk to you soon.